One of South Carolina's longest tenured and most powerful state senators passed away this morning. Hugh Leatherman passed away at the age of 90 at his home in Florence. He had been battling inoperable cancer. News 2's Riley Benson joins us in studio and Riley's statements and stories have been pouring in all day. You had the chance to speak with two state lawmakers who reflected on the senator. Yes, via Senator Leatherman was first selected back in 1980 and he's served the state ever since. Leatherman, who chaired the state's finance committee, is credited with bringing several projects to the low country, including Boeing, major improvements to the Ports Authority and more. A giant tree has fallen. We certainly will dearly miss him in the South Carolina Senate. Senator Hugh Leatherman passing away from a battle with cancer. His family is saying he worked from his hospital bed up until the end. I have no doubt he valued the work that he did for the state. For many, like fellow state Senator Marlon Kempson, Leatherman was seen as a public servant who put the Palmetto State first. Didn't miss a day in the Senate. Uh, many of us young guys, we, uh, we go drink coffee and, you know, if somebody's birthday, we might not come, but Chairman Leatherman was always there. Governor McMaster weighing in, saying Leatherman poured his life into our state and we are the better for it. State Representative Wendell Gouillard says Leatherman was always on the move, but always had time to listen. The best place you could have caught him on any given day in Columbia was on the elevator. <laughs> Believe it or not. Senator Leatherman credited in a big way for helping the low country by securing Boeing, helping to fund improvements for the Ports Authority and funding body cameras for cops, money from other Emanuel Foundation. He was going to do whatever, whatever it took in that situation, okay, because that's just the kind of way he had. You know, it was like, look, consider that done. Remembering a man who spent 50 years pushing the state and the low country forward. We had philosophical differences, but we had respect for each other. And for that, I will always remember him. An institutional figure. He was an institution. Now, in a statement, Leatherman's family summing up the man, they say, quote, ever the stubborn optimist. He had legislation drafted and received budget briefings for the next legislative session from his bed, end quote. So far, funeral arrangements have yet to be announced, but of course, you can count on us to share them with you both on air and online. Reporting live in studio, Riley Benson, Count On Two.